well uh, hello friends in this video i will be discussing regarding um, calculating the hamiltonian the form of hamiltonian and the momentum operators uh, for the um, free field theory uh, concerning the klein gordon field uh, or the real scalar field so uh, we have discussed that uh, when we do the quantization the canonical quantization um, we can perform mode expansions uh, to get our field operators so we saw that uh, the field operator phi of x was of the form of uh, d cube p over 2 pi cube uh, then you had 1 over root uh, 2 omega p and then we had uh, a p e power minus i p dot x plus a p dagger e power i p dot x so this was the field uh, operator and then we also saw the conjugate uh, momentum which was uh, defined as del l over del phi dot which is just phi dot for the uh, for the klein gordon field and that was integral d cube p over 2 pi cube then we had minus i we can just take the derivative of this term um, but we must remember this uh, the p dot x the p dot x is omega t minus p vector dot x and the omega p omega p is just uh, square is p dot p vector dot product the three vector uh, plus m square uh, this uh, this convention is uh, necessary and now what we have is uh, the conjugate momentum was written as omega p by 2 and then we had um, a p e power minus i p dot x minus a p dagger e power i p dot x so these were these were the uh, field operators the uh, field operators and uh, the this was the mode expansion this kind of a uh, form will be uh, used in various places uh, whenever we do for complex uh, klein gordon field or even for the dirac field but these coefficients are like these are the fourier modes and these are the coefficients these coefficients will change in different field theories as we will see and now uh, our main aim is to find the hamiltonian and the momentum but what are the candidates for uh, such uh, operators uh, one obvious candidate of these operators are what we see that uh, we get them from the conserved charges corresponding to the symmetries uh, given by the Noether theorem. So if we, uh, as per my previous videos, we had derived that there is a conserved uh, quantity, the energy momentum tensor T mu nu, uh, which was the conserved current, which was uh, conserved current corresponding to the uh, Noether, mm, this Noether, uh, the symmetry corresponding to the symmetry of translation. So uh, X mu going into X mu plus epsilon mu where the phi of x was uh, actively transformed to phi of x minus epsilon. So this gave rise to um, this particular uh, conserved uh, current. Uh, and what was uh, the form of this current? The form of this current was, uh, it was, uh, as far as I remember, it was del over del mu phi, uh, del nu phi minus L, the Lagrangian density delta mu nu. Now this was the conserved the energy momentum tensor. Now observe that the Hamiltonian density is simply uh, the Hamiltonian density is simply t zero zero, uh, which is uh, which is p phi dot minus l, and the conserved charge h was sim is actually d cube x h. So the conserved charge is actually this thing this uh, this Hamiltonian that we are interested in the Hamiltonian operator, and similarly if we try to think uh, that the momentum uh, p i is actually t zero i, which you can put here. So i goes from 1 to 3 and that will give us, uh, so this will be 0, so this is pi and then this is a del i phi uh, or pi is minus pi del i phi. So now we know the form of our uh, pi operators and our uh, Hamiltonian operator which is this form. Uh, now all we need to do is calculate this by putting these uh, operator forms in terms of these uh, mode expansions. So let's uh, try to do that. So the Hamiltonian is uh, d cube x uh, Hamiltonian density, which is d cube x uh, pi phi dot minus the Lagrangian, which is finally uh, equal to d cube x uh, half uh, pi square plus grad phi square plus m square phi square. So uh, this thing uh, can be, so the once we know the form of Lagrangian, we can find this. Uh, so the Lagrangian form is the form for the klein gordon So L k g is half uh, del mu phi del mu phi. Uh, so and then there is minus m square phi square. So once we have the form of Lagrangian this, now we will try to put the pi square phi square and this grad phi square. So it is a very uh, tedious task as we can see, uh, but we will uh, try to do it once so that uh, it is uh, familiarizing uh, to work with these all operators AP and AP deck. So we will be working in the Schrodinger picture. So Schrodinger picture means that uh, Schrodinger picture means that the operators phi uh, phi of x and pi of x they will actually not depend on time that means we will evaluate it at a fixed partic uh, particular time let us put that t equal to zero so we have phi of x vector and pi of x vector and now what we will do is uh, so this means that uh, the x vector will be just putting here t equal to zero in this expansion here. 
so now what we will do is uh, we will uh, calculate the let's uh, take pi of x vector uh, this is nothing but uh, integral uh, d cube p 2 pi cube uh, then i have minus i root omega p by 2 now as i have written here vector uh, from this point everything that is below this i will be working only in the three vector notation i might not put the uh, arrow in the front but i will be working in the three vector notation so let's uh, quickly write it a p i p dot x everything is three vector now minus a p dagger uh, e power minus i p dot x now uh, this is the form of pi of x uh, obtained by setting a t equal to zero in this particular form so now what we will do is uh, we will uh, we will take this integral d q p we will take it inside we will take this entire quantity inside in both of them and in the second quantity we will make a transition p going to minus p and then integrate but that will shift also the integral like minus infinity to infinity dq p will shift to uh, infinity to minus infinity dq p with a minus sign but that is same as dq p minus infinity to infinity so when we do all this thing we will finally end up getting this particular expression uh, so this is uh, minus i root omega p by 2 and then you have uh, e power i p dot x uh, a p minus a minus p dagger so once we uh, so this is the expression of p that we will be using uh, for this calculations uh, so let's now calculate pi square so pi square is uh, integral d cube p over 2 pi cube integral d cube k over 2 pi cube and then what we will have is uh, we will have uh, a factor of half with a minus sign because i square is minus 1 and then we will have omega p omega k and now i will have uh, i p plus k dot x and then these daggers that will be uh, attached that is a p minus a minus p dagger uh, a k uh, minus a minus k dagger. So you see, I have again written this. Uh, there is everywhere there is a three vector notation. So this is pi square. Similarly, now we will try to write uh, grad phi square. So grad phi square will be what? So it will be we will take phi uh, evaluated at t equal to zero. We will take a gradient and then we will square it. So uh, it will be uh, let's see a d cube uh, p integral d cube k. There is a two pi uh, six because uh, two pi cube two pi cube. And now, uh, if I look at this form, so whenever I will take a gradient, I will bring down a factor of uh, i times p. And here I will bring down a factor of minus i times p, but I will make a change from uh, p going to minus p. So entire thing, I will get a factor of i p in the front. And so now you can uh, work it out. Uh, so what should the form be? It should be e power i. Uh, I will have this p plus k dot x uh, with uh, the notion that everything is a three vector. And now what uh, what will be the form is, we will have 2 root omega p omega k and then uh, here I will have, uh, uh, here I will have, let's see, so uh, I will bring the factors down and there will be i p coming out, so i square will give a minus 1, so p dot k and then, uh, then I will have the rest of the a and a daggers. Uh, let's try to write uh, a and then there is a k uh, plus a minus k. So this is the form of uh, pi square, uh, grad phi square. And now the form of phi square will be exactly similar to uh, the form of grad phi square. Uh, because in the grad phi, I have put down a factor of ip from here. From here, That ip factor will actually produce minus, IP, uh, minus uh, p dot k because uh, there will be ip ik. But instead of this entire factor, I will just have a m square. Because uh, there is no derivative in case of uh, phi square. So I will have just an m square. So, because it is actually phi square, m square, phi square. Now, if we plug these all points in the Hamiltonian, the Hamiltonian will be uh, integral d cube x, integral d cube p 2 pi 6, integral d cube k. And now, what we will have is uh, e power i p plus k dot x uh, by 2 minus uh, root omega p omega k uh, by 2. Uh, and then what we will have a p minus a minus p dagger a k um, minus a minus k dagger and then i will have this term so this entire thing was uh, pi square and now i will have the other two terms but they are almost similar uh, with minus p dot k going to m square uh, divided by uh, 2 root omega p omega k so there is a plus sign here plus sign here and then i will have the factor then i will have this entire factor attached here and now uh, we have managed uh, to we have managed to write the Hamiltonian in a very um, a crude form. Now we will need to work this entire thing out by expanding everything. So for this first thing we need to note the first thing is integral d cube x 
ई पावर आई पी प्लस के डॉट एक्स ओवर टू पाई क्यू दिस एंटायर क्वांटिटी इज डेल्टा क्यू पी प्लस के दिस इज डेल्टा क्यू पी प्लस के एंड दिस इज जैसे फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म सो वी विल डू दिस डेल्टा क्यूब ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड देन वी विल इंटीग्रेट ओवर द के एंड पुट के इक्वल टू माइनस पी सो दैट विल गिव द हेमल्टोनियन एस दैट विल ओनली कीप द पी पार्ट एंड आई विल हैव हाफ this half and then there is this bracket and now i will have minus omega p over 2 uh, ap minus a minus p dagger a minus p minus a p dagger so actually uh, so k is going to minus uh, p actually because of delta p plus k uh, plus uh, plus i will have uh, so this will produce p dot p and p dot p plus m square is omega square and here i will have a omega uh, so uh, what uh, this will produce is uh, this will produce omega p By two, and then I will have uh, this uh, star quantity that is here. This entire thing. Uh, let's write it down. A P plus A minus P dagger uh, times uh, uh, K will go to minus K. A, K will go to minus P. So A minus P minus A P dagger, and then the bracket closes. So the Hamiltonian will be of this form. Uh, so it starts here, and then it ends here. So now uh, we have almost uh, completed uh, this Hamiltonian exercise. Uh, so now what we will do is we will open this bracket, open this bracket, and there will be a lot of cancellation because of this minus sign here. So and the final expression, the final expression will be of this form: d cube p over two pi cube. And now uh, this omega p can come out. So this is omega p by two, and then there is a p a p dagger. So a p a p dagger, a p and a minus p will commute everywhere. And then there is uh, this term also. Yeah, so uh, this term also, but there is a minus sign here. So that is with a plus sign. Uh, plus a minus p dagger a minus p. So this is the final form of the Hamiltonian that we have managed to obtain. Uh, so this is the final form of Hamiltonian till now that we have obtained. Now uh, what we can do further is that we will again do a change of variable of p going to minus p in this second part. Now you see omega p in case of omega p p going to minus p keeps omega p unchanged because omega p has p dot p plus m square. So this dot product is actually invariant under this. This is a three dot product. So anyway, so when we do this change, it will give d cube p over two pi cube omega p by two, and then inside the bracket, what we will have is uh, a p a p dagger plus a p dagger a p, and now we can introduce the the, the commutator of a and a dagger. So uh, what we have in bracket is uh, this. This is not an anti commutator. This is the bracket. This is the bracket always uh, till now. Uh, so I will introduce minus a p dagger a p plus a p dagger a p. Uh, so what will this become? So this become uh, commutator a p a p dagger plus uh, a p dagger a p times two. So now the final expression of Hamiltonian is coming out to be uh, d cube p over two pi cube omega p, and then what we have is uh, commutator a p. A P uh, dagger by two uh, plus uh, we will have this uh, A P dagger A P. Now you see now we have a problem. Uh, the famous problem. Uh, the problem is that uh, this commutator is a uh, infinity number. So uh, this is uh, simply two pi cube, two uh, pi cube uh, delta cube zero because uh, commutator of A P A K dagger is two pi cube delta cube P minus K. And this uh, delta cube zero is an is infinite quantity. So what we do is this Hamiltonian is something that we cannot use. What we do is we use something called as a normal Hamilt ordered Hamiltonian that is uh, defined as normal order of this Hamiltonian. Now, this is the Hamiltonian that we have found till now, and now we will do a normal ordering of this Hamiltonian, which means that whatever is inside this quantity, so inside this quantity, uh, whatever there is, bring the A P dagger to always to the uh, left side of A P. So inside the bracket we had these two terms. Now imagine if I make a prescription that says that. This term uh, will always uh, be changed uh, to a term such that uh, AP dagger will always be on the uh, left of AP, without uh, taking into account any commutator or whatever. So this means that this will automatically produce a two and will not care about this delta cube because it is not ca uh, caring about this commutator. So this normal order Hamiltonian is actually defined by removing this infinity part, which is also saying that in some sense we are. Uh, Saying that we can uh, scale our energy by an infinite amount and set the bar of energy measurement such that uh, we neglect this uh, infinite amount of energy because it will be added to all energy changes. Anyway, so this is the Hamiltonian that we want. So this is the normal ordered Hamiltonian, 
for the this is the hamiltonian operator now in the similar fashion uh, we will we can also find the uh, momentum operator so the momentum operator p can be written in this form so uh, it is it is uh, suppose uh, it is uh, pi so we will put a del i here and then there is phi so this form comes from the uh, energy momentum tensor so now what we can do is we can try to uh, uh, solve this form uh, in a better way by just plugging this pi and phi uh, and it is a much easier task than calculating this hamiltonian and uh, what we end up getting at the end so we will get something like this d cube x integral d cube p so uh, what we are doing is we are uh, just plugging in uh, the we are just plugging in uh, this derivative and this derivative will produce a pi term with a iota in front uh, so it, it is like i uh, pi and then uh, the other daggers will remain same so this kind of a term will be produced by this pi and uh, you can uh, try to uh, solve this so uh, uh, well uh, let us uh, try to solve this pi uh, actually uh, if we try to do this uh, this again will produce a delta function due to this e power i p dot x and i have to set k going to minus p so everything will uh, give me finally 2 pi cube and then there will be this uh, p i the p i that uh, we are thinking uh, so this i i will put it up because you see uh, this, this has to do with the lorentz signature uh, because the dot product is p i x i actually uh, so when i do this p i comes front uh, and then there is this i square there is a i here, there is a i here that will give us a minus 1 and that minus 1 will cancel with this and I will be left with uh, a minus p, a minus p plus e. Now what we can do is uh, we can uh, also define this pi, we can also define this pi by taking p going to minus p that will produce a minus pi here and here uh, minus p minus a p dagger, uh, a p uh, plus a minus p dagger and so this is also pi and this is also pi. Now we can add these two equations to get a 2pi uh, which will be of the form of integral d cube p over 2 pi cube uh, pi 2ap uh, dagger ap plus uh, ap ap dagger. Uh, now what we can do is uh, we can again do a normal ordering uh, to finally uh, get that uh, pi is integral d cube p over uh, 2 pi cube uh, pi ap dagger ap. Uh, so Finally, we see that the Hamiltonian and the momenta can be together clubbed as uh, a p mu operator, mu going to 0 to uh, 3 as integral d cube p over 2 pi cube, uh, p mu a p dagger a p, where uh, p 0 is omega and p i are the uh, three components. So with this, we have uh, found the uh, form of momentum and the Hamiltonian.